Welcome back to the Rocco Taco Mining Channel. Hey, let's go over some Raptorium stuff, where I'm at, what's going on. Right now, I'm looking at mining pool stats, Dodge Stream slash Raptorium. And this will show you all the pools out there. Uh, one to four, Flock Pool, R Plant, Supernova, 011 Data. I was on Flock Pool. It got really overloaded. It's got a lot of the uh, share of hash and everything. So I decided to go down to the another US one. And that was 011 data. I'm on that guy. And his hash rate has gone up. Well, actually, it just dropped. It was at, geez, it was at earlier. I say within the past half hour, it was a lot higher than that. So it kind of dropped. Interesting. I never noticed that. It just dropped. Was that... I think 11 and it dropped back down to five. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but you can see it's steadily increasing. Let's see, number five, uh, number four, 4.5 mega hash. There's your 0.5% fee. Flock pool is 1%. Here's flock pool. Shows the difference there. Here's the current price in Raptorium, 0 0.04 cents. And then down here is the difficulty, right here, block height. And it gives you an idea what the difficulty, we're at 9.6. And you can actually mouse over these guys and see that it is the date and all that stuff, 9.4. It's dropping a little bit right here today, it dropped 8.5. So it gives you an idea what's going on with the Raptorium. So like I said, I moved over to this other mining pool. Still trying to debate if I'm actually getting getting the uh, performance I want out of it. So let's go check. Okay, this is Raptorna, which is the 011 data pool. Not as slick as UE as the flock pool, but it gives you the information and you do get your payouts when you hit over 20. So I'm at, uh, let's see, balance of 9.4 for this run. Total paid out since I've been running this is 309. Total hash rate 9.5. And average is 9.9, .9. and the reason is I only really have two beefy CPUs running, two Ryzen 9s, 3900s. The rest are lower performing CPUs. So I got one, two, three, four, five. I got seven. Again, two are Ryzen 9 3900s. Three are Ryzen 5s of various speeds. And I think three, four, five, the other two are Ryzen 3s. Again, I have Ryzen 3s just to get the uh, GPU boards up and running. I don't need anything fancy. And that is why there's a big spread of different performing CPUs right now. Uh, better something than nothing, right? And you can see the different performance per CPU per rig running. And what's interesting is Ryzen 9s, they were at 430. They jumped up to... 519 I'm, I'm going to the AMD store right and then um, they jumped really high the last week last week was 579 and I then I looked on Amazon they have an AMD store there 570 I'm like oh my god and then eBay quickly is like a couple days behind or a day behind they shot up you can get a Ryzen 9 from South Korea <laughs> for 520 if you want to wait probably a month or two for shipping it over uh, God knows, even if they're going to the West Coast, they'll be sitting out in the ocean waiting to come into the port. California's all messed up with that. I don't know what's going on with that place. Uh, let's see. So Florida offered to take all the port, the um, cargo ships, because California just can't get their act together. Right there. I'm waiting them to drop below 500. I think they will, because now they've been in stock consistently. They've been in stock uh, right there. They've been in stock for the past couple of days since Thanksgiving, and they have not been out of stock, so, which is a sign to me that people have um, slowed down paying this high price. You can see I got two, and I think I got them in the low fives. I, again, I saw it on eBay for 430 the night before, and I hesitated. The next day, they shot up. Don't hesitate. If you see a great price and something in the stock, you got to jump. And maybe if you change your mind, you can return it or cancel the order in time. But just try to get that thing in your cart. That's my advice. All right, what are we doing now? So we got that. We're watching Ryzen's. Oh, we'll see what happens there. I'm just watching the prices. I don't want to pay that much right now. We're holding here. 
Let me know what you think. Is this a good thing to be on this pool, or should I go back to flock pool? I might run a test to see. Like, the, like I am getting paid out every 20 Raptorium, which is fine. I prefer on flock pool, which is nice. If you go over to flock pool, you can actually set it. I kind of like that feature. And you can see I made 389 there. So I might run a day on flock pool just out of comparison, a bake-off, to see which is better just for my situation. Again, some people are running 20 Ryzen 9 3900s, and they have a whole shed full of these things. I don't, I'm, I'm, come on, I don't want to go broke. So I bought two, two MSI motherboards with it, and um, I'm running those, and I can show you where those are at right in the corner over there. Those are the two Ryzen 9s running. This is the Ryzen 5 I just hooked up. This is an overkill motherboard. I don't know why I got this one. It's um, B550F Gaming. It's got built-in wireless. It's pretty fancy motherboard. I think it was a high 100s, 180. And then whereas those wonderful X470, I love those things. They're MSI X470. I know how to configure them. I know how to make them work with six or more GPUs. I know everything about them since I had issues and I just learned everything about the BIOS and I love those boards and they're under a uh, hundred bucks or like 80 bucks I think those I might just stock up on those just to have them and then down here I got this AMD 5 and this is another MSI board and that is the same yes I was gonna say it looks familiar another X470 so I got three X470s because I like those boards I'm sticking with what I know and they're not that overpriced they're 80 80 bucks or something so there you go. That's where we're at with the uh, CPU mining. Nothing great. Small time gym. Small time Rocco Taco gym. Uh, but you got to start somewhere because, like I said, I was at one rig, and now I'm up to nine rigs. In count, you know, counting the CPUs. And I need to go get some wire shells from Home Depot today. Need to get some wire shells because I got, like you saw, I got stuff on the floor. I got stuff on the uh, tables, and was you'll love this. I ran, I had no more Ethernet cables, so I had my old. 2013 gaming PC Wi-Fi card TP-Link I found the drivers I downloaded it. this thing is now running wireless this thing is running wireless with a dongle Kablamo! this thing is running wireless with the built-in wireless but this is a 189 motherboard 189 dollar motherboard there you go and I bought these R's game PSUs because they were cheap. They were 49, 59, 59 bucks, I think. Versus these Corsairs RMX 750s, which were 99. And I figure for what I'm doing, these are bronze. That is gold. I don't care right now. I just want to get stuff running and not go broke. And um, we'll see how long they last. They should last fine. I'm not really overtaxing them. I'm just running a motherboard with a CPU right now. And there's the box down there. So I got one left. So that means I can buy one more motherboard. <laughs> this stuff gets addicting, guys. But in a good way, because you can actually make profit if you mine the right stuff. And all right, there we go, guys. That's all I got. Kind of a mess, but it's kind of interesting how you evolve through this process. All right, let's see what's going on. I'm going to reload this page. Nope, it's a 4.5. I wonder why that dropped to 4.58 on 011 data. It was, I swear to God, it was 11, like an hour ago. And then there you go over there, difficulty. Maybe because this dropped. Maybe, I don't know. i got to understand how this all relates. Exactly. So here we go, the price again. It's holding. All right, that's all I got. I mean, I just wanted to show you where I'm at with the Raptorium. New to it, trying to understand the pool stuff. Then I think the strategy is going to be, I'm going to switch, I think I'm going to switch today back to Flockpool just to see and do a bake-off and compare performance-wise and, you know, payout-wise what I get. And I do like on the Flockpool, I can set the payout level. I'm going to check my total hash rate. I don't think it showed me my last total hash rate. It doesn't persist it. Uh, 16, no, so average was 357 hashes that was with everything so let's see 
Huh, I don't know, I gotta run that. I just need to get the stats better in my head as to what is happening. And you can see my worker dominance and my hash rate dominance. Boy, I wish those CPUs would drop. I wanna, <laughs> I'd get a couple more, but I'm not gonna spend all that money. It's, it's kind of foolish right now. Let's see, that's it, that's all I got, man. Let me know what you guys think, what you advise, what, what, what's working for you. Do you stick on flock pool? Or do you stick on one of the other pools to spread the wealth? I might, I have to, I think for me, just to know the numbers, I might just have to switch back to Flockpool for a day and see what happens. All right, guys, that is it. Go forth, do great things. Don't spend all your money on crypto unless you know what you're doing. Do not listen to people on the internet about crypto investing. Do your own research and take your own risk. This is just for fun. I mean, that's not a disclaimer. That's, it's a disclaimer, yeah, but it's also advice. Don't follow these people. That's how I got in Litecoin years ago. Some guy on YouTube in 2016, 2017, Litecoin's going to go to 1,000, 2,000. Oh, I fell for it. And now I need it to go back above 200 or so so I can break even. <laughs> so uh, I've been running in the red. So to ease the pain of being in the red with Litecoin, I moved it to Voyager. And there I'm getting 5.5 or 6% interest on what I have thus far of my total Litecoin. And that kind of gives me monthly reward, monthly interest, monthly interest until it can go back up and I can just dump it and just put it into Bitcoin. I'm sticking with a leader, man. I know guys can make money off these altcoins in it, but it's just I can't, I can't do that every day, watch them and guess and like sheep and jump into the, the FOMO of a dope dog coin or something silly like that um, and wait for Elon Musk to tweet something that's going to cause Dogecoin to go up or SHIB to go down or I'm going to put the Doge logo on my rocket. It's like, what? Oh my God, I can't take it anymore. It's like I, I disclosure, I own Tesla stock and it shot up really good because Hertz announced they're going to run Tesla cars, electric cars. And uh, then Musk comes out a couple of days later, oh, I'll, runs a poll on Twitter. Should I sell my shares? Causes the stock to dump. dump. I'm there, dude. Stop tweeting. There's little people like me who are just trying to get ahead, make a couple bucks. And you got this guy coming out, putting these tweets out there, killing the performance of t Tesla. Albeit, it came back up a week later. But another one I'm watching is NVIDIA. I had no idea NVIDIA was... I, know, I had no idea NVIDIA was such a hot performer. And the thing has skyrocketed. And I know there's some politicians that have bought into NVIDIA because they have to disclose their insider information trading. So they have bought NVIDIA and some have options at 400. So I know it's going to at least go to 400 because they know stuff we don't know. I don't put more in and I can lose. Sometimes you do have to take a risk to get the reward. One guy I know I saw on an um, entrepreneur show, young guy, I'd say probably 33. He's driving a Tesla and he doesn't work anymore. He said when he was working at Google, of all places, right, he bought Tesla. He went all in. The guy just went all He's young, probably single, right? He saw the light. He went all in on Tesla stock and won. He won at life. He made so much money off Tesla. He got out from working at crappy Google and is now pretty much not retired in that. He's retired in that. He's not a slave to one of these corporate companies like Google where you just have to show up, play the game, play the culture warrior game, uh, all that crap they put on you, all that fake culture, we're all family bull crap, um, all that phony stuff. And at Google, you end up, as an engineer, you're changing fonts, you're changing colors, and you're sitting in meetings on what color to change. It's not real software engineering at Google at all by, by any stretch of the imagination. Most people just last under a year there just to put it on their resume because it's all the facade of I worked at Google. Big whoop. It's probably not good for your skill set. You get it on your resume. whoop de doo right? But Facebook and Google, people barely last a year because they just want to get in, get out. They see how crappy of a work environment is, how toxic the people are. And uh, it's just, it's almost like people fail up there. You know, it's like in the government, like uh, the generals we have now. They fail up. Anyway, back to Raptorium. Switch over to Flagpool. Bam. Let's see the performance difference. We have this video to compare. We'll see if my total hash rate goes up and my uh, total paid and my balance and all that stuff. We'll go on a daily basis. And what's nice in the Raptorium wallet 
as you can see the payouts and I'm getting them at least every 20 good or bad I prefer just to set it high and get a payout every thousand or whatever let them hold it I don't know just just that way you have less transactions to worry about gotcha gotcha all right I hope you're all hope all this makes sense we're just babbling and I will talk to you guys later gotta go find that dog